Hello and uh, welcome to this uh, new video. In our last video we crossed the theory about the capacitated plant location model. In uh, that uh, video I also explained that there was an, uh, an Excel spreadsheet available on the Blackboard site. In this video we're going to cross this Excel uh, spreadsheet um, so you can uh, you can work with it um, the Excel spreadsheet you can find in uh, on the blackboard side here in chapter 5 here are all the videos objective synopsis the PowerPoint we use and this is the the Excel spreadsheet Sun Oil example. Oh, there it is. Okay, here we have the um, uh, uh, the Sun Oil example spreadsheet. Um, all the all the uh, uh, costs are indicated here. All the uh, variable costs, all the fixed costs are indicated here. This is this is low capacity. This is high capacity. And this is the demand. And as you can see, this one is all filled up till uh, the very, uh, very last end of our last video. Uh, the nice thing about uh, about this spreadsheet is you can uh, change uh, the numbers and see what happens. Uh, so, for example, if uh, we say that the Africa supply region and the fixed cost for having a low capacity plant is instead of 4000 it is 3500 uh, then the fixed cost of the um, uh, of the high capacity plant also changes because it's one and a half times the, the cost of the low capacity plant. You can also um, uh, fiddle around with the, uh, with the demand. For example, Africa has 14, uh, Asia has 12, Europe is currently in a downturn, so it's 10. Uh, South America is doing pretty well, 10, and America is doing as well as always. So, what, what would happen if, um, if uh, uh, we calculate the highest profitability, because that is the, the aim we, we got. Uh, please remember, we're busy with um, the framework for uh, decision making in supply chain, um, this is currently phase two. In phase two, we make a broad assessment of where production facilities should be uh, should be placed. In further um, phases, we're going to end up where specifically. But now we're going to uh, we're going to see in what particular re uh, regions. Uh, in this case, production facilities are to be planned and uh, where those production facilities need to, uh, to ship their goods to. So, for example, we have now changed some of the, um, uh, some of the indicators. We use the sulfur for this. Sulfur is here in Dutch, it's called oplosser. What you see here were the, uh, were the constraints 
that were mentioned in the in the video earlier. The only thing we have to push here is oplossen, solve. And the computer has generated a new um, a new answer. The answer is uh, the minimum cost is twenty two thousand nine hundred and seventy four. And what does happen? We have uh, one, two, three big production plants in uh, Africa ships to Africa, Africa ships to Europe, Asia ships to Asia, and Asia also ships to Europe, and Asia ships to, um, uh, uh, to Asia. Um, the, um, uh, the nice thing about this is you can also use this for your own um, uh, for your own working environment. You can change the uh, the supply region. You can change the demand regions. You can change these um, uh, flexible. Uh, variable cost. You can change here the uh, production capacities. You can change here the fixed cost and s just see what happens. You can also, if you're a bit better with uh, with Excel, you can also uh, make more uh, uh, regions and more supply regions and more demand regions and so forth and so on. Um, let's uh, let's try this an uh, an other time. Uh, let's say that South America now demands 14. Europe is on the upturn again. It now also wants 14. Asia is doing very well. 18. Africa is doing 16. And North America is doing 20. Uh, fixed costs in Africa are back to normal again. Um, only the low capacity plant in Africa can be a bit bigger. It can be 12 and the high capacity plant can be 24. Let's see what's, wh what happens now. Press solver, solve, computer starts calculating again and it found a new one. The uh, total cost is 34,080 and we now have one low production plant in Africa, one big production plant in Africa, also in Asia and one big plant in, uh, in South uh, America. All demand is um, is settled zero 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 zero, and in Africa we got four uh, production still left. So this is a very nice way of assessing where to um, where to put your production facilities, or if it were uh, distribution facilities, or if it were supply facilities. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you have uh, more questions, please do not uh, hesitate to send me an email or to come by in one of our Blackboard collaboration uh, sessions. Thank you for watching and hope to see you again.